Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a movie theater tour slash review. I would say it's like 99% done. We're only missing like 1%. I wanna get like um, blankets and then I need those pico grits painted, but I would say it's, it's pretty much done. I wanted this to look and feel like a commercial movie theater. One of the things that I love the most about the theater is I love the size of the room because it gives me that commercial feel and we have 19 seats. These are Palisa seats. I think they're really nice. We've only had them for a little bit. So now I have four children, which means I sometimes will have a lot of kids here. I have my friends. And when all of our kids here, like this is a full house. And of course with my four kids, if they all decide we wanna do a movie party and they each invite their friends, it's pretty full in here, which is great because everyone can fit. My favorite thing on the seats are the fact that we did these single seats and these love seats. What I love most about the love seats is when you have a bunch of like babies or the little kids are all here, you can put like four of them or even five of them because our little babies are like this big. They can all sit in here. They can each share popcorn or whatever they're having. The only reason we did love seats was because we were kind of out of space. I did want to keep the six seats on each row and then seven up there. However, if they were each single seat where there was one of these, like if there was one of these here, then we would not have had enough space. We were forced to do love seats and it's my favorite thing in the theater. My two youngest, they love sitting with me. So sometimes they'll sit in this love seat with me if we're watching a movie and we like all three of us can fit. If you're doing a theater, having a combination of love seats and single seats is pretty good. As we're on the seats, this is one thing that I feel like I should love, but I don't. This, the lighted cup holders and the lights that come up under here. As you can see, some of these are on and some are off. This is blue and that is green. Sometimes when you have all the little kids in here, this will be red, that will be green, this will be purple, that will be blue. It will have like all these different colors. It will look like a Christmas tree. When you're watching a movie and this little light is on, it's kind of distracting, so you need to have it off. I don't know if I would have served money without going with these backlights. I thought I was gonna love it, but turns out I actually don't like it. And we don't use them. One of the things I like is there's a USB right over here, which if I come in here and my juice is low, I can just plug in a charger, USB charger, and I'm able to charge my phone. I don't know if you have to have both or one or the other, but if I were to do it again, I would ask if there's a price difference between having these lights and uh, or not. All of these armrests open up. There's a tray in here and you stick it on. You can have your popcorn, sit here and have your drink here. I think this is really nice. These trays are all kind of glossy, which means like there's fingerprints all over them. And I like that the inside here is all plastic. It's like safe and you can actually hide stuff in here. Everything in here is controlled on control four. And this is the control four remote. And I love these stair lights in the wall. So every once in a while, when we just, people are coming in in the middle of a movie, just turn this on. We did three rows. There's seven seats on this row and then six seats here and six seats there, which makes it 19 seats. There's a single, there's a love seat, then a single, a love seat, and then a single. This is set up exactly like this. Single, single, love seat, single, single. We have a laser projector. Some projectors have a lamp and some are laser. And when we initially started, we were doing a lamp projector and then we changed to a JVC that is laser. This project is like $20,000. We added a lens on it. What this lens does is movies are recorded on 2.4.1 or zero, and they're all not always recorded the same. Sometimes if you're watching a movie on a screen, it may not fill the whole screen. There will be like black lines on the bottom and the top and the sides. 
So this lens, what it does is it fills the whole screen. When you look on our control for remote, it shows the lens where it's in TV and when it's in movie. When you're in TV, you have those black lines around and then when you're in movie, it fills the entire screen. If you're wondering what the whole setup is, I'm going to put the link down below. If you're in Pittsburgh, we worked with Theater Extreme. They are amazing, so professional there in Cranberry Township. They did our whole surround sound. They did the control for, they did the movie theater. We ordered like, you know, these seats through them. I've loved working with them. One of the regrets that I have in here is that we did not zone the theater like separately, which I read a lot about it, but I don't know why I didn't do it. I thought it would like just be okay. We're still in winter, we haven't been in here in summer. Our HVAC guy says in summer it should be okay, it will be cooler. But right now, because there's so many people, then you have the projector that's giving on too much heat and stuff. Sometimes I feel like it kind of gets hot in here, but we're considering zoning it if our HVAC guy can't figure out how, you know, to like just keep the temperature in here lower than the rest of the basement. This is in our basement. I should have had a zone for the theater that was in on its own temperature. This is 100 and... 50 inches it is a huge screen it's it's like i'm five four so like a look at how big it is this screen also has those backlights like i was showing you on the chairs they came in the first day they turned it on and they put that backlight around it and i just hated it this is a movie theater like you don't need that many distracting lights maybe it's fun for other people but for me i just didn't like it i feel like that's a waste of money if i was to do it again i would just get a screen maybe it would have been you know cheaper if this was five thousand dollars more with the lights or four thousand without the lights i would have gone without the lights let's go outside so i can show you where the concession stand is even though it, it's a complete mess, but we're still moving in. But right now it has a candy bar on it. This is our popcorn machine. I got these for drinks for the movie theater because they're completely non-spill. Got them to childproof my kids when they're in there. I think I'll move them from here to like the bar area. And then we're going to be storing all our popcorn, all our extra butter stuff in these drawers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I can't wait to do a tour for you guys for the other rooms in the house. Thank you. See you next week.